defending champions Parramatta running from right to left. Michael Cronin kicking off the match under the control of Kevin Roberts. And Chris Mortimer is the first of the Bulldogs to be tackled by the Parramatta defence line. Penalty. And a little bit of fisticuffs there as Billy Johnston went to ground, but the penalty has been given to Parramatta against the man who played the ball, taking the marker out of it. First points, this kick for Cronin's 20 metres in from touch. Cronin makes no mistake. So the first points come in the opening 60 seconds and the Eels lead the Bulldogs two points to nil. I told you Ken Stewart was the only new face in the Parramatta team. Four new faces for Canterbury Lamb, Pop G, Tunks and Kelly in today's side. Mortimer to work it. Lock forward standing. Free from the scrum when it got behind the second rower's feet. And now it's switched to the hillside and Farrah. He's got a pass inside for Peter Mortimer to score. That looks so simple. Peter Mortimer scores the first try. Taking Canterbury to a four points to two lead. See it on the NEC replay from Steve. It went through Terry Lamb, Andrew Farrah galloped into open space. He ran an angle. He ran an angle and Peter Mortimer came inside. up the conversion sending Canterbury to a six points to two lead Steve Foates playing at centre field Parramatta's 22 line Lease is put down with uh, number 10 Peter Wynn over the top he's got a lot of blood uh, coming from a gash in the top of the head Peter Wynn Peter Kelly he's 10 metres out centre field Now Johnston. This Canterbury Tark team is looking extremely strong in the forwards. They're being allowed to stand in tackles and offload. Chance for a drop goal for Lamb. I think it's good. It is. Canterbury extend their lead now. Seven points to two. Parramatta's has won this one. Sterling trying to jink his way through. Found Kenny with a good pass. And Kenny's given up to Cronin over the top to Ella. Out to Growth. Growth being covered there by Andrew Farrah. He's got rid of him. No, he hasn't. Farrah. Hang on there. Now it's Ella. Here's Peter Wynn. Turning it back for Ella. They're 32 metres out from the Canterbury line. Sharp. Sterling. Cronin. Mears is coming up. Turn back for Sterling. Torpedoed out for Kenny, uh, for Kenny now. He's away. But tripped uh, by Lamb, which has punctuated the attack. Jerd, Stewart, Sharp. Sharp sees a gap, gallops into it, crosses 32, goes to the quarter, touched by Canterbury, it's gone to Taylor, this could be a sensational try, Cronin's got two to choose from, goes himself, and that is an absolutely magnificent rugby league try. Evans, about where did that all start? While all that was happening, did we happen to get a count on how many hands it went through? Peter Fralingos keeping stats for me again this year. Only eight. I thought it might have been a touch more. The kick from Cronin is one up, one down. He's given the goal. Roberts has given the goal. Nine points to eight in favour of the Bulldogs. I spoke to Warren Ryan at half time and said to him, any changes? The answer was no, but there could be soon. Price, Price. Within three metres. Penalty to Parramatta. It's against the marker. And now, some fisticuffs. Kick by Cronin, successful. Both flags up. And uh, Canterbury continue to lead, but not by as much. 12 points to 10 now. Canterbury players seem to get a touch. It is a Parramatta feed. It's a Parramatta scrum. And Sterling gave it to Lydiard in from the blind wing. Kenny tries to get rid of Farrah. Gets a pass away. And uh, they've coughed it up, Parramatta. But uh, knocked backwards, said the referee. Play on. 
played by Price on the 22. Sharp runs it vigorously. Parramatta have got extras out here on the right hand side. Growth and Eller have changed positions and Eller's virtually unmarked. That's Kenny. Now win. Short ball. Cronin. Short ball. Growth. Growth is flying for the corner. Infield for Lydiard. Lydiard's in the score. A good uh, picture of what Michael's looking at. He hits it sweetly. Straight over the black dot. Short ball from Mortimer to Johnston. Broken forearm is the official report for Peter Mortimer. That's rotten luck, first game of the year. Whatever. Rotten luck for anybody uh, at any time of the year, but for oh, the first match. Anderson plays it to Johnston. They're working to the hillside. Gould puts the cross kick bomb back in field. I think Terry Lamb might be in front of the kick. Oh, Taylor's made a mistake. Lamb scoops it up. It's going to be a try. Pop G. Pop G's in in the corner. Pop G is over in the corner. They won't come any harder than this one for you, Terry. Hits it. Looks good. Looks great. Yes. Canterbury Banks down. Snatching the victor, the lead again. 18-16. Got, got the penalty. Roberts. What a start to the year. Is it a, a sign of is it a sign of the new times? Manly beaten yesterday. And it's looking like Parramatta today. Cronin, six meters from the halfway line. Peter Wynn. Crabbing across the ground. And these Canterbury freshmen are doing a lot of cleaning up at the moment. Sterling, Sharp, Sharp stands, offers it, knocked down by Canterbury. That'll be a knock-on against the Bulldogs. And a scrum midway between the 22 and halfway. Parramatta scrum win. Taylor makes the extra man in the back line. Picks up Kenny. Kenny's taken by Farrah. Near the halfway line, Price, Peter Wynn. Win tackle about six meters inside Canterbury territory. Sterling long ball picking up Stewart, turning it back to Sterling. Sterling probing, finding Sharp. Sharp being driven by Lamb, and he's lost it. And he's going to put a scrum down, but that as a result, the ball was flicked out. Another penalty to Parramatta. He's, he's penalising the Canterbury front row for not packing in square. Must only be seconds of this match remaining. Cronin, he's found touch, not touched, in flight by Canterbury, and oh, the tap will be taken five metres from Canterbury's line. First round of the Premiership and a cliffhanger between Canterbury and Parramatta. Almost a grand final atmosphere as Mayers bumps off a tackle. Stewart spins it to Taylor. Taylor's swallowed up there by Terry Lamb. Well, the Bulldog defence has got a hold here, but they can't afford to give away a penalty. It's from Sterling to Growth. Growth is held. About 12 metres out. Off goes Sterling. Feeds it out to Price. Price is still going. He's pulled down about five metres out. Taylor, Peter Wynn. It's on the ground. Mears has it for Parramatta. Tackle number five. Jurd, Sterling. Up goes the bomb. Ella's going through fast. They fly. Oh, it's bounced badly for Canterbury. And it's a try, I think. No, he's given no try. Line drop out, he's ruled in amongst that uh, ruck of players. He's ruled that it was forced by Chris Mortimer. This will be Parramatta's last chance. And Sterling has lost it on the first tackle. Sterling trying his heart out, has lost it on the first. 
And all that remains now, one would think, would be for Canterbury to take the ball from dummy half and kill it in time-consuming football. No matter what the result, it's been a good afternoon of rugby league. Folks, now Steve Mortimer switching it to his brother Chris. He gets it a kick. It's gone over towards Steve Ellis' flank. Anderson hanging back. Here's Ella coming across the paddock. Mears goes up the middle. And he's thumped to the ground 32 metres away from the Canterbury line as the siren sounds. And it's all over. Canterbury have again beaten Parramatta at Belmore. For Canterbury, Peter Mortimer and Kevin Pobji scored the tries. Terry Lamb kicked four goals and two dropped goals. And in the final analysis, how important were they? Well, for Parramatta, Cronin and Lydiard scored their tries. Cronin potted four goals. A great game of rugby league displayed by the Eels and the Bulldogs today with Canterbury picking up the two points 